Hello, welcome to the Legendary Brown Note. Today, we will be answering the question, what is base EQ? This will be a high level overview and I will get into the finer details in a separate video. All this information is found in an AVS forum thread that I will link below. I also asked forum members Aaron7AWOL and Mobahart for their own take on base EQ and their answers can be found at the end of this video. The base EQ thread was started by AVS forum member Pile Maniac. He keeps things updated and provides tech support to users. In his FAQ, he states that the origins of BaseEQ, or BEQ, originated in the database forums around 2014. The talk was around restoring movies that had their lower frequencies severely filtered. People found that there was ultra low frequency content on these disks themselves, but just at a really low level. With the right amount of software, you were able to raise these ULF effects back to the level where you can hear and feel them. This is not made up content or filler effects. Let's take a look at the peak versus average graph from Atmos version of War of the Worlds. The red line is the Atmos track's average levels of bass. You can see the dotted line, which represents the Atmos mix starts to roll off quite severely at 30 Hertz. BEQ takes the average and peak levels of bass and extends it all the way to one Hertz, bringing back that UL of goodness. Aaron7AWOL is one of the main creators of these files and Mobahart is the other. As of making this video, there are over 2,600 titles available for BEQ. So now the next question you probably have is how do you get these files? The easiest way is through an app designed by member 3LL3Dude, or as others refer to him simply as Dude. His creation is called the BEQ Designer, and it does four things. They are creating BEQ filters, analyzing the effect of BEQ filters on audio track, remuxing movie tracks to include the BEQ audio track, and my favorite, downloading BEQ files onto my computer so I can load them in. This brings us to the next question. How do we load BEQ files so my movies sound more awesome? There are multiple ways to do this, but one of the easiest is with the Mini DSP 2x4 HD. For me, I have my normal everyday settings under Config 1 in my Mini DSP, and when I watch a movie, I click on Config 2 and load up the file I got from the BEQ Designer app, and I'm good to go. A little warning, you should turn down the volume until you get to the actual movie. Sometimes trailers and menus can run a bit hot. I'm going to include a clip from my World of Worlds BEQ comparison here. But in terms of the bass, that's where things really are very disappointing in the Amex mix. So even the rumbling right here, is there's a difference I can tell already between the DTS and the Amex mix. But the biggest difference is gonna come right here after the crack goes up the wall of the floor shop. There's a bunch of cars that get up un upended and it feels like an earthquake in the DTS mix in my room. And in the Atmos uh, soundtrack, not so much. Right there, super violent. You can click up here to see the whole thing. After you're done watching the movie, to unload the BEQ, I just click on Config 1 on my mini DSP, and I'm ready to go. BEQ titles get updated, and new titles get added into the repository pretty frequently, so all I do is run BEQ Designer, update the list, and then I have all the latest files. It only takes a few minutes. So who is this for? I think people who have subs capable of going down to 20 Hz will have a noticeable benefit from base EQ. People that can dig under 10 hertz or even get to 5 hertz can reap all the benefits of base EQ. The last question I want to address is, is BEQ safe? The first part of the answer lies in the fact that BEQ does not boost all the base frequencies. It really only does a big boost to the super low level content. When done properly, BEQ is pretty safe. There's always the danger of you forgetting to take off the BEQ file and then running something like the Edge of Tomorrow opening scene at reference volumes, and that can definitely cause some damage. The Mini DSP does have a compressor setting, and that helps prevent spikes like those from damaging your subs. I've been running BEQ for the past year or so, and have never had any problems. Before I forget, I wanted to give a couple of people a shout out for their involvement with the base EQ thread. User Desert Dog keeps repositories and software updated and provides tech support. Paul ST occasionally safe checks BEQs for alternate audio mixes and provides graphs. Superfist provides occasional graphs and great movie reviews. Richard Sim 7 provides occasional graphs and full heat maps. And S. Buger is in charge of hyping up every base EQ movie he watches and in turn 
hypes us all up to watch our next Space EQ movie. Sorry if I butchered any of these names. The next part of this video focuses on Aaron 7 AWOL and Mobile Heart's personal opinions and experiences with BEQ. The first question I asked them was, what is Base EQ? Aaron responded by saying, it's a set of custom filters that is tailored to a particular audio track in order to modify the frequency response for the most enjoyable possible experience on a capable system. The next question I asked was what their involvement was with Base EQ. Moberhart said he stumbled upon the BEQ thread one day and was hooked. He realized he was often asking for movies to be BEQ'd and he decided that he wanted to make a contribution to the thread. He also says that he seems to like movies that people seem to hate and felt bad asking for BEQs, especially for those movies. He relates making BEQs to audio archaeology in the way that he hopes to uncover sonic treasures in some of the movies he works on. He finds it very rewarding. He loves being able to fully utilize his home theater. He's created over 800 BEQ titles for the repository. Aaron's involvement with the thread goes back before the thread was even created. He stumbled upon the old database thread where they were talking about bringing up levels of filtered base, and he realized it was a painstakingly long process to fix each channel individually, which resulted in a limited number of edited movies available. He came up with an early primitive BEQ machine and made a few filters and released them to the forum. He was posting his impressions on his filters, but it seemed like nobody else was listening to them. He kept on going though, and soon after, member Bigga6761 posted positive impressions of Aaron's filters. There was a bit of back and forth for the next three weeks of whether or not BEQ was appropriate for the current thread it was in. Pile Maniac then got a mini DSP and other members such as Brahmin12, Derail34, Pradeep2, and Superfist started showing more interest in BEQ, and that's when Pile Maniac started the current thread on AVS forum. Aaron says the real game changer was when Dude created his initial version of BEQ Designer. It saved everyone a lot of time, and I'll have to agree with that. It makes downloading and loading BEQ files a cinch. Finally, Aaron gives member Desert Dog a shout out for maintaining the repository of filter sets. I then asked Aaron about creator intent, as that seems to be a question that often comes up with BEQ. He says he understands that some purists value creator's intent above all else but he doesn't really care about it personally, as his priority is just to have the best experience possible on his system. He says that a lot of us on AVS have systems that are far more capable than those in theaters or even mixing rooms, especially when it comes to bass and tactile response. When he designs BEQs, it is with the goal of creating the best possible experience, and he sees no other reason to have any other goal. Thanks Aaron and Mobahart for taking the time to answer my questions. Alrighty. That just about wraps up this video. My apologies if you are a frequent contributor to the thread and I didn't mention you. Your work is much appreciated. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below or if I got something wrong, please let me know. See you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.